Today we're going to show you how to create a backup of a hardcore world or a single player world that you can use as a backup, a restore point, or even upload to a server. The first thing we're going to do is open the Minecraft launcher. We can do this by hitting command space on our keyboard and from this point typing Minecraft. This essentially means that you're just going to open Minecraft the way you would normally. Once the Minecraft launcher opens, we're going to head over to the installations tab. You'll see this right under Minecraft Java Edition Play installations. Now from this point we can hover over any of these installations and we can click on the folder icon next to the green play button. It doesn't matter which one that you click, it will bring up the same folder either way. From here we can scroll down to the folder called saves, open that up, and then here you have your Minecraft saves. If you want to create a backup of it, you can right click on it and hit copy, and then on our desktop we can right click and hit paste item. Now this is going to create a complete duplicate of the folder, so if we open up both, we should see the exact same thing. At this point, you could take this folder and upload it to a website like Dropbox or Google Drive and have a backup of your world. Or if you wanted to add it to a server like Simple Game Hosting, you could do so by uploading it through FTP or the file manager built into the host. Speaking of server host, we started Simple Game Hosting with the goal of creating the easiest way to set up and play on a Minecraft server with your friends. We have a one-click mod pack installer, live chat support, DDoS protection, automated backups, and unlimited player slots. Check out the altguides.com SGH and scroll down until you find the RAM calculator. Here you can select what type of server you would like to play, such as vanilla, modded, or a server with plugins, how many players you expect, and how many plugins or mods you want to use. From here, you can hit the configure button right next to this, and it will take you through the process of setting up your own Minecraft server for you and your friends to play on. For now though, let's head back into this and talk about a second method on how you can get to your Minecraft saves folder. So if that method didn't work for you, if you don't see this folder icon next to the play button, there is another way that you can find your Minecraft folder. With finder selected, which you can do by just clicking anywhere on your desktop and making sure that it says finder up in the corner here, hit Command, Shift, and G on your keyboard at the same time. Now, this is going to be in the description and you need to copy and paste it exactly as it is. This is going to take us to our Minecraft folder directly. And then you can see if we open our saves file, we have the same world that we had when we opened it through the launcher. And at this point, you can do the exact same thing. You can right click and copy the folder and then add it onto your desktop where you can then take it and upload it to a server host like Simple Game Hosting, or you could upload it to Google Drive or Dropbox. But that's it. That is how you find your Minecraft saves folder on a Mac. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below. We're happy to help you with anything we can, but also be sure to check out thealtguides.com sgh to get 25% off your Minecraft server's first month today.